Finally, I watched Goodfellas. This is one of those movies everyone should have seen. It's one of the biggest crime mafia movies in the world. And I sit there all my life watching movies like Nothing or Gary or something. So thanks for giving me this one. The storytelling was very, you know, you could easily understand how someone develops into, into a, a criminal like this, in, into a very dangerous criminal. Uh, especially in the end, in the courtroom room, when Henry stands up, looks right in the camera and, and walks past everyone and continues, to, uh, you know, t just telling the story, what he did all along. And that was very beautiful and felt very natural. Uh, I really like that. Uh, amazing cast, um, amazing people that you, you, you see, and you're not quite sure is is this going to be an important person or is he going to get shot right away? You never know uh, in this movie, and that's really something. You you kind of you're kind of scared to get attached to someone, and before you know it, you 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 are attached to someone to to anyone in the movie and they disappear. Also what I realized is that so many so many parts in this movie are have been an inspiration for so many other great movies. If if I would have seen this movie and done then all the other movies that are kind of based on it or kind of strongly inspired by it, it's I did it the wrong way around. But still I enjoyed it uh, and um, I enjoyed the pace, you know, the speed of the movie. So this is definitely one of the greatest crime or mafia movies out there. I can definitely suggest it to watch with friends, to have a to have a good movie night. It is violent, but not, you know, it it's not, it's bloody, but it's a mafia movie. It's somehow a funny bloody thing always. I mean, Joe Pesci is always funny. And and before that, always always surprising. He's always always up for a surprise. He's always doing something you wouldn't expect, even though he always acts ex exactly the same way. You know, you always go like, oh no, he didn't. Okay, and he's he's a very cool character for that. Then Ray Liotta is one of the, the greatest ever. This is this is one of his biggest, I mean, his uh, first big movies. There is no way I'm not going to watch this movie again, very soon. There is so many, so many things that, uh, so many hints. The wives, when the wives talk to each other and do makeup and their hair, there is so much going on. You, you, you'd think that there's just, it's just some wives talking about making pie. They're not. It's, it's a very informative, uh, discussion going on and the the off voice uh, when when Henry or his wife talk about the story uh, their story there is so much in there so I'm very convinced that this is I would say the greatest crime movie I have ever seen and I'll definitely recommend it next time someone just wants to watch a movie with me so I'm very happy uh, you're gonna get a surprise this time um, you surprised me last time and it didn't turn out very well, but I think my surprise or my my risky movie is uh, going to be all right. It's going to be good. It's a good movie. Uh, it's called Calvary. As always, don't watch the trailer. Watch this. What the fuck? Why the fuck would you tell me a story like that? And it's not about a priest gone wild. It's... it's a... he's a good man, okay? This is a good man. Give him some space. And enjoy the movie. See you next time. This is a nice cry movie. A nice... Um, not cry movie? Crime movie.